So I recently discovered that I'm kind of over um, filling up my Drobo hard drives. Uh, so I decided to upgrade them, or at least one of them, from a 500 megabyte, uh, if you can see here, to a uh, 2 terabyte that I just happened to be lying around. So the first, second, and the fourth drives are 1 terabyte, and the third one is 500 currently. So I'm going to upgrade that to um, the 2 terabyte. I found this out when I was looking at my Drobo the other day and I saw oh, that orange light and that's kind of the indicator that something's going wrong and uh, my uh, Drobo actually would bring up a warning in the corner of the um, uh, my desktop space of my Windows 7 machine saying that oh you know you run out of capacity you do something about it or die sort of situation in so many words anyway so um, I'm gonna do it I've got my uh, Western Digital 2 terabyte green drive that I've formatted. I have actually formatted it in a Mac journal format because that's how I, I like to have my data. I'm more of a Mac user than a PC user. Um, and then I do actually access it via my PC with Mac Drive 8. Just allows the PC to read uh, Mac drives. And that uh, works out pretty smoothly. Mac Drive 8 is a great product. So uh, here we go. I'm going to give it a try and hopefully no data loss and happy larger capacity in the end. So um, I guess the first step would be move all the crap. <laughs> um, and then open the face plate of the Drobo. You can see the orange light indicates the 500 that's filled up. So I push this in and from what I've heard, oh well, that came up a lot easier than I thought. Most people have to pull it out aggressively. Um, this one mine popped out nice and easy. Thank you, Drobo. So you can see uh, barely that this is actually well, it's a little bit hard to read here, but it's a Seagate five or yeah, Seagate five hundred gigabyte. And what's going on screen here is uh, the Drobo dashboard is telling me that up to 500 gigabyte is now missing and I need to do something about it. So, uh, in the same sort of orientation, I am going to pop in the new 2 terabyte drive. I actually do usually do a pretty good job of keeping my Drobo clean every once in a while. Kind of uh, use a pressurized air to blow it clean and just make sure the fans are clean and whatnot and here we go sliding in the two terabyte and see what happens to our lights here There you go. So now it's kind of recognizing the new hard drive. I don't know if you noticed this, but the little blue light that says your capacity level dropped down one notch, which was interesting. Um, and now it's kind of going through this orange blinking light thing where it indicates that, you know, it's got to um, reallocate all the memory to the proper place. And the Drobo dashboard reacts appropriately as it's blinking sort of in a, uh, it's not quite an orange, but it's... Um, it's a blinking light telling me that something's going to happen. What it says down at the bottom, which you probably can't read, it says data protection is in progress, but you may continue to access your data. Do not remove any hard drive with blinking yellow green lights. Uh, that was the first of two messages. Second message is Drobo cannot currently protect your data against hard drive failures. That, like I said, it's just really all about reallocating all that data to the proper um, place. And um, let's see. Yeah, data production in progress. And a very quick 20 hours and I'll be in good shape. <laughs> Which, uh, given the fact that it's a, you know, there's one, five terabytes of information in there, or, well, probably less than that, but five terabytes of drive space in there, um, you know, 
it will take a little while to reallocate that. Anyway, that was it. Um, you know, hope this is useful to someone somehow. Feel free to comment, and um, I will try to reply.